I don't remember the last time I played a game of EU4 that was this painful. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in EU4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally back with the first nation in Season C, the nation of Chandar. Yes, Season C, that's right. Welcome everyone. Chandra is a nation located in Anatolia, it is a Turkish Beylik, and is definitely one of the hardest starts in 1444. We start off with this not so good ruler right here, but Chandra ideas are actually really really good with minus 20% CCR, a merchant, admin tech discount, dev discount, advisor discount, discipline, and even plus 10% goods produced. So a super super nice idea set, but a horrible horrible start. But what do we do as Chandar? Well, I was looking through my achievements and I realized that I don't have the Turkish Delight achievement, which requires us to start as Shandar and own 20 sugar-producing provinces, either directly or through our subjects. So, that's what we're gonna be going for today, the Turkish Delight achievement, one of the hardest achievements in EU4. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you wanna see more A to Z videos like this, or more EU4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button, so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Shandar. Alright, alright, here we are as Shandar. This is actually my third start since the Ottomans keep beating me up. And of course, this is the achievement we're going for right here. Turkish Delight, start as Chandar and own 20 sugar producing provinces between you and your subjects. Now, if we go into the trade goods map mode and uh, try and find some sugar provinces like this one right here, we can quickly realize that there aren't that many here. There's like four over here in the Middle East, six more in the Maghreb region, so that's 10. And then we got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 right here. Where are we gonna find 20 sugar producing provinces? So that's why, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going for a new world exodus. That's right, the plan for this campaign is going to be to no CB an Irish miner and then establish a foothold in Ireland and colonize because there's loads of sugar provinces in Mexico and all over South America. And with that, we can hopefully avoid fighting the Ottomans and getting obliterated by them. So let me start off by doing some estate stuff. Alright, alright, estate stuff done. Let's go for this decision. Sure, let's see if we can find some allies to help us uh, not get declared on by the Ottomans. Maybe I'll get a Diplo Rep guy too. I don't have a Diplo Rep guy, so I will actually ally Ramazan right here. And uh, once we're able to, I'll ally Dulkadir and Biapas as well. Meanwhile, we need to buff up our navy and army in order to no CB some Irish guys so uh let me start off by building some transports all right i've allied these four guys right here hopefully that's enough to deter the ottomans from attacking now i just need to build up my navy and go fight some of these guys right here so the ottomans did start their first war versus byzantium which is pretty good for us i did manage to ally crimea as well so that should deter them a little bit more i'm still building ships all right the navy has been built up 10 galleys and 10 transports and i've got my army and free company as well so it's time to take these guys uh well i don't know right here to make some money in the meantime, I'll sell this province to the Ottomans. And we have arrived off the coast of Ireland. Why is naval attrition so high? Did 3,000 people really die like 600 years ago traveling from Turkey to Ireland? 3,000? I mean, come on, dude. This isn't the Atlantic. It's the Mediterranean. Either way, it is time to no CB one of these guys. Uh, Moonster has one ally, Ormond. Uh, so uh, they do have a level 3 fort though. So why not no CB these guys up here? Sure. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that's our first war. Alright, so the war is done, I did lose my entire navy somehow, but let's not get bogged down with that. And let's piece these guys out for money and war reps, boom, there we go. And we'll simply make these other guys our vassal and take all of their money as well, boom, there we go. Now we got a subject in Ireland, which means we can declare using some of their claims and establish ourselves in Ireland as well. Meanwhile, England, they've gotten two vassals here. That might complicate things a little bit. A coalition in the 1450s? Come on, bro. Don't be that mad. All right, let's declare on these guys right here and actually place ourselves in Ireland. Can we co-belligerent these guys? New. No. Hey, would you look at that? Not even five minutes into the video, and it is time to strengthen noble privileges. We can actually be an Icta, funnily enough, which is pretty strong, but... Eh. Alright, war is done. Funnily enough, these guys did gain a province while we were fighting them as well, so that's two provinces for us. Awesome, and we finally established ourselves directly in Ireland. Now, as soon as I core these up, I'll be moving my capital over here, and we can uh, chill a little bit and try and tech up and get ideas, because these guys, well, and England as well, they're really mad. Luckily, England can't join a coalition because they uh, kinda like me, but it's definitely time to chill now. I still don't know how I lost my entire navy, dude. <laughs> Looks like the Ottomans want to declare on us because they just forced uh, Dulkadir to break their alliance with us. Uh, actually, yeah, they're right over here, right on our border. Uh, is there a way to 
I don't know, get a truce with the Ottomans or something. Maybe I can sell them Sinop, but we can't. It's our capital. And they'll probably declare before we finish coring uh, this province right here. So, uh, yeah. And there it is. My bay. The infidels and Ottomans declare war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite conquest as their CB. All right, let's wait for a month and uh, give them this, I guess. These idiots, dude. I was just about to sell it to them, man. And there we go. They've sent me a peace offer. I guess I'll give them more reps and money too. Why not? There we go. Nice. Now our capital is automatically over here in Limerick, apparently, which is great. Now, another thing we have going for us is we have Anatolian units, which, as we all know, are some of the strongest units up until the mid-late game, I would say, up until the 1650s or something like that. So that's pretty good. But we are a Sunni nation in a uh, Catholic Ireland, so uh, we might need to force some zealots to pop up so we can flip the Catholic? Catholic Chandar, anyone? And it is time for our first idea group here. Of course, we are going to be taking exploration ideas now. We are a bit further away than Iberia, sure. But listen, Ireland's not that bad either, baby. So let's get a quest for the new world. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much broke, dude. We're not making any money. All of these guys are mad at us. I don't know what we're going to do, but at least, uh, at least we're free from these guys. So, uh, what happened to Poland, though? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can now ally the Ottomans? <laughs> Let's try and do that. <laughs> All right, there we go. We finally got some noble rebels because I lowered autonomy. And of course, they flipped the zealots because I sent a missionary, which means now we can uh, accept their demands and become Catholic. Now, I wonder if I should try and ally the Ottomans first and then flip to Catholic. I think that's what I'm going to do. And there we go. We can actually ally the Ottomans. Now, the reason I'm doing this is uh, so hopefully England doesn't attack me. No other reason. But uh, yeah. After selling them a province and them beating me up, I guess uh, we can ally them. And now, of course, I'll flip to Catholic as well. Boom, there we go. Uh, a Catholic Chandar, baby. You know what it is. Wait, we can become pirates? Huh. Pirate Catholic Anatolian unit Irish culture Chandar, anyone? <laughs> All right, it is time to continue our conquest. Either way, let's declare on these guys right here and fight these guys as well. So, uh, yeah. And there we go. Another war done. Another two provinces in our pocket. Sweet. Not sweet. <laughs> you know, we are gonna chill for about five years anyway, so why not actually do a tactical bankruptcy here, an intentional one, to resettle our accounts. So uh, I am gonna declare bankruptcy. I should have used my points, right? Yep, I forgot. And I didn't even have to stab up from minus three because I got pretenders and I was like, hmm, why not let them win and save the stabbing up? And there we go. We got a different dynasty. This guy does suck, but he has saved us around 500 admin points uh, in the short term. And there we go. Sweet. The bankruptcy modifier has just expired, which means we can go fight these guys. All right, let's go fight these dudes. Oh, not these dudes. Uh, let's go fight these other dudes over here. Well, no Pirate Republic, I guess. Uh, I guess we came uh, too big. All right, let's full annex these boys down here. I should probably accept Irish, huh? Maybe flip to Irish too? <laughs> Can we form Ireland now? <laughs> we can't. <laughs> And that's done as well. Perfect. We have more than half of Ireland, man. These guys are a subject. And we're going to be fighting these guys too because uh, France made England release them. So that's pretty sweet. Actually, let's get right on that. I am a fool. I fell for one of the classic blunders. They have built X6. I just royal married France. I can ally them after this war. Sweet. And there we go. We've got these guys as well. And uh, that's pretty much our conquest in Ireland for now, man. Now we really got to chill and we really got to start exploring because uh, I already have three ideas over here, man. We got a colonist. I don't have anywhere to send them to. And would you look at that? France actually wants to ally me. Why, yes, I will accept. Thank you. All right, there we go, baby. Three lights have been built. Let me get a... Uh, explorer for these guys boom and we're gonna tell them to explore ah right it's not like i just inherited the six lights from uh, my subject i did have to build those right yep now i can see a province down here but it's uh still too far away so we do need to tech up but things are looking great boys things are looking great and as you can see if we go into the trade goods map mode and click on a sugar province or something like this we can see the amount of sugar provinces that can spawn in south america quite a lot and there's quite a bit of them in mexico which i'll discover soon just chilling at speed five packing up getting ideas you know what it is this is my uh colonial range map mode for now boys as you can see we still can't get to anything yet meanwhile portugal is starting to dominate the caribbean quite unfortunate but expected Okay, finally, man, Diplotech 7, I just got it, which means we can explore some more, which I will do, but more importantly, we need to take a look at our colonial range map mode, and we can finally colonize in Brazil, and in the Caribbean as well. Now, let's take a look at the chance of spawning sugar. It is pretty high in all of these, actually, uh, but this province over here, it already has sugar, so let's go there. And there we go. 
We've started accomplishing our achievement. We have one out of the 20 required provinces that produce sugar. Great. All right, second idea group time. Now, we don't really need expansion because I'm just going to fight whoever I come in contact with, like Arawak and Carib here, as soon as this colony is finished. And then we're going to put one colony here, fight these guys. Actually, I can show you guys the sugar provinces now. Mm -mm -mm. I love that. So we're just going to colonize here and then fight these guys. What do we go for? I do want to get richer. Let's go for economic. I actually spawned colonialism. <laughs> nice, dude. It spawned in very long name Irish province here, which is my capital. This does change everything. Uh, that's actually a feels good moment right there, man. Finally, a little bit of luck in A to Z, man. You guys know how these things go. We never get stuff like this. But there you go, man. I guess there's a world first for everything. Has anyone ever spawned colonialism as Chandar? Probably yes, because listen, I'm not the first nor the last person to do an Ireland exile with them. Let's be real here. Well, Arawak ran away, so I guess uh, we can't fight them for this province. But I did get a free company with the Conquistador here, and they're about to walk up to over here. I guess the hardest thing about Chandar is pretty much the start and getting away from from the Ottomans. If you want to do an exile like this, once you get to Ireland, it's fairly easy. But if you want to fight the Ottomans, that's a whole different ball game, baby. Look at how strong they are in my game right now. I guess this is what happens when Burgundy wants to remain Burgundian. <laughs> Look at these dudes. Now the Protestant Reformation did spawn, I guess, uh, in Bremen, and I think we should uh, flip the Protestant. Protestant Chandar, everyone. There's a first time for everything. All right, finally, man, let's get into some new wars, this time in Mexico. Let's declare on Huastec right here and take the two sugar provinces that they have. Level 3 forts, of course. Level 3 forts galore. Ah, the classic French Liège war? Wait, that seems wrong. What's going on here? Oh my god, do I really have to help France do this? Uh, no, I won't. Sorry. Oh, actually, they'll accept this. Perfect. Nice. Two more sugar provinces. Let's establish a new colony down here. Perfect. Now, I hope England doesn't try and pull something funny here because uh, I don't have any allies. Can we actually ally anyone? Let's see right here. I, uh, ah, Crimea. Well, these guys just got vassalized by, uh, Totonac. So, uh, what are we gonna do here? Honestly, dude, we're so poor, man. I'm wondering if we should move our capital to the New World. At least then we can take advantage of all the gold provinces over here in Mexico. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Either way, let's declare on these guys right here. I got some, uh, good stuff going. Yeah, let's peace out, bruh. You know what? I think I am going to move my capital to the new world, man. Uh, let's go back to Ireland. We're going to have to pop out so many guys right here. But either way, let's just release these guys up here. And then we'll give them some provinces. Like this one right here. This one right here. This one right here. And then we'll pop someone else out from the bottom. Like Moonster. And we're going to give them this province. And that province right there. Now we should be able to move our capital to the new world. We can also embrace colonialism, apparently. Uh, let's go right here. First, we need to state it, of course. There we go. It's stated. And I need 309 admin points. Of course. Of course I do. And let's move our capital to the new world. Boom. There we go. We're a new world nation. Now we can farm some gold over here from the Aztec nations. As soon as I get a spine at work, of course. I've gone bankrupt. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I didn't get a warning. Come on. You know what, I got a civil war ticking, but I'm actually gonna let it fire to, uh, so it can stab us up. I think it works like that. Alright, I've chilled for long enough trying to stabilize my nation, so now it's time to fight some more Mexican nations. And that's this war done. I'm gonna take these provinces and I think I'm gonna get these guys here as a vassal, which is pretty good because they do have two sugar provinces. And like I said earlier, we don't need to own the sugar provinces directly. Let's go check in the achievements where we're at at this point in the game. And we're at 7 out of 20. Not bad. All right, these guys have a gold province. Let's go fight them. I think I just want the gold province. Thank you. Ah, not only did we go bankrupt this game, a couple of times actually, three total, once uh, on purpose and twice not on purpose after I went to Mexico, but now we have internal conflicts as well. Dire times are ahead of us. I swear, dude, I haven't had a more painful game than this in a while. All right, let's do a little bit of conquering here. We're gonna fight Aztec and their overlord uh, long name, uh, and we're gonna get a bunch of gold mines from them. And this is all I want out of these six gold provinces. I'm going to take uh, five of them. I don't want to full annex these guys because then I'm going to get subjects. Excellent. Okay, okay. Let's rack up three more sugar provinces from these guys right here. I swear, this is probably the most frustrating game of U4 I've ever played. Well, <laughs> oh my God, dude. Ah, 
Britain has declared war on me? Why? What do they want? Britain, come on, dude. I kind of forgot these guys were next to me. Hey, vassals, good job holding off the British. <laughs> You know, I was gonna, I was gonna break my vassalization over these guys, but I never had enough prestige to do it. They're just a liability, man. They're just a liability. Huge creek, by the way. Huge creek. Might as well turn into a river. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, that wasn't that funny, was it? Ah, oh, they have finally arrived in the new world as well. I thought they were gonna stay in Ireland this whole time, but I guess I was wrong. What? Now, a civil war too? Dude, come on. This is like the second disaster. Guys, I know I said I was gonna play more seriously, and I swear I am, dude. I haven't been messing around this campaign. I did everything with a strict goal in mind, and I tried not to lose. But I did go bankrupt about six times, and this is the second disaster too. Listen, what are you gonna do? Sometimes the AI is genius. It generates its own atmosphere. How many times? How many times am I gonna go bankrupt? Dude. Pain. I just went bankrupt again. I thought you couldn't go bankrupt if you're already bankrupt. Why did I go bankrupt again? It's like the eighth time, dude. You know, I wonder if the British uh, will fight my pretenders. Hey, the British did fight my pretenders. Thank you, Great Britain. Something good had to come out of this, didn't it? I just went bankrupt again. <laughs> I just went bankrupt again. Ah, uh, pain. Arab declared war upon us. Holy war, I guess. Did they take religious ideas? They did, they did. What do you want, Carib? You want this, man? Jesus. Carib, man. We've stooped so low. From the mighty north region of Anatolia all the way to Ireland, then to Mexico. And we've stooped so low to let Carib declare war upon us. Quite embarrassing, I must say. I thought this game was gonna go differently. Ah, Waztec has also declared upon us. Of course. Of course they have. Uh, well, Britain peaced out. What did I take? I guess uh, they took all of Ireland. Do they have lots of AE? Not really, not really. Did they take stuff in the New World? Also not really, not really. Uh, we're about to lose to Carib and Huastec too, aren't we? And we just lost to Carib, and I guess we just give them war reps. That was an awesome war, Carib. Good job, man. You really wanted to take this province, didn't you? And we have... Uh... <laughs> Shameful defeat. <laughs> we have suffered a shameful defeat in the Huastec War where they took this province right here. Now, I'm about to go bankrupt again, obviously, but we're still good, man. We still got Zapotec over here as our subject, so things are not looking too bad. We're about to get pretenders, too. And the Civil War ended. Victory is ours. Yes, uh, that's uh, definitely a victory. Uh, I've also lost some provinces to Separatists over here, and I'm now left as a one-province miner in the province of Malinalco with a subject in Zapotec as well. What do we do here, boys? Is there any recovering from this? We don't even have a single sugar province. Well, we do have like three, to be honest. Wait, I have troops down here? This is my new capital, I guess. I love it. I really do. But yeah, boys, I think it's obvious to us all by now that uh, that this campaign, it's pretty much uh, unsalvageable. I don't even know if Islawik could save this, to be honest. But there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Chandar, located in these two provinces right here. And our goal was to get the Turkish Delight achievement, which required us to have 20 sugar provinces. We ran away from Anatolia in order to not get crushed by the Ottomans. We no CB'd an Irish miner. And we established ourselves as a fairly strong nation on the island of Ireland. After that, we started colonizing and making our way to the New World, because let's face it, this is where all the sugar provinces are located, mainly in the Mexico region, in the Caribbean, Colombia, and and Brazil and we started colonizing and we even abandoned our possessions over in Ireland to subjects so we ourselves could become a new world nation and it started off strong who am I kidding man who am I kidding we've been struggling this entire campaign man I don't remember the last time I played a game of EU4 that was this painful and had this much suffering we could never get our economy up and running stupid ideas because we needed to colonize even though Chandra has such amazing national ideas and even though I thought it would be better for us to run away from Anatolia and not face the Ottomans at all, I have to say that I think it's in fact better to replace the Ottomans and form rum or something like that and not do an Ireland to New World strategy, dude. It was so painful, man. We suffered in Anatolia, we suffered in Ireland, and we suffered in the New World. We couldn't get enough sugar provinces. The most we had at one point was like 11. Now we're only left with three. Not even the gold in Mexico helped us. Nothing could save us, and we suffered massively this entire campaign. And man, it's honestly been so long that we've had two failures in a row, boys. Last week, it was a failure as Byzantium, and this week, 
It's a failure as Chandar as well. Honestly, super, super embarrassing. Super, super embarrassing. I know some of you boys have gotten used to me winning all the time because I'm literally the best U4 player of all time. But I guess Chandar is so horrible that not even the best U4 player of all time, parentheses myself, could get a game up and running with them. And boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad to say that this campaign as Chandar in A to Z has been a failure. And that has been Chandar in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this, or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.